What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at rescue cds and how useful they can be when your system is heavily infected now what we're going to do is really heavily infect this uh, virtual machine here and uh, then we're going to reboot into our rescue cds and try to run scans with those rescue cds to see if we can remove a, a majority or all of the viruses from those okay now i'll use a variety of different rescue cds just to give you an idea of the effectiveness of these types of uh, software now there's many different types out there so i'm not going to be able to cover them all in this video but i'll cover some of the most common ones okay so this gets started anyway so what i'm going to do here is infect the system with some viruses now you can see i've got an array of viruses here I'm just going to quickly click on these now, depending on whether we hit a ransomware or not. If we do, then that will be the end of game and we'll have to start scanning from there. OK, so before we do that. Let me just uh, disconnect my map network drive here. And then we can continue. So I'm going to click on these. And hopefully we can get a few of these done before we hit a ransomware. That might be one. I'll just keep going and clicking on these. So what we're going to do now is reboot the system and uh, as you can see it's starting to come back a little bit. The system is grinding to a halt, it really is. Okay so the first uh, rescue CD we're going to use is Panda here and we're going to boot into the live fail safe. I think that's going to be our best bet here just to make sure that we get it to boot. We're going to let this load in, push the enter key and let it load in. Now it wants us to choose our language, so I'm going to push one here and then enter to accept the license agreement. Push any key here. Now what it's going to do here is reboot the system, ask us to remove the disk or the USB flash drive and reboot the system. And then that will boot to the desktop and then load up uh, the Panda. So let's uh, do that. So now you can see Windows loading. Now hopefully Panda will fire up and start to run unless the malware or infection stop it from running. You can see stuff popping up on the screen. Okay, we're getting this uh, starting to start up now. I can see it grayed out. And uh, we're just going to run and accept and scan. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we're going to run this. It's checking for the internet connection and then it's going to run a scan on the system now if we had root kits on here we could try that other method but let's try this one first to see how we go okay so what we want to do now is accept and scan and away it goes So we'll let this uh, scan run and see what it finds on the system. And then we'll try something else, another rescue CD. And that's the scan nearly finished. And that was a pretty fast scan. Whether this was a quick scan it's done, but we'll soon see what it finds on the system. So we'll just let this finish off. Okay, so let's send in the results to the cloud now for verification. And this will analyze these results to find out what's infected and what's not. So it's just going to send us some uh, cleaning instructions here. Okay, so there you can see we have got malware and pups found, 80 elements right there. You can see files 52. And we've got some unknown files and suspicious policies. 
and then we've got system cleaning here as well so we can see some uh, some other bits and pieces here we can clear out if you wanted to I'm just going to put the ticks in these and uh, we're going to do the same thing for this as well and then we'll take a quick look here yeah that's definitely something that's dodgy and we'll remove all those as well Let's go back there so now we can hit the clean button here and let this clean up the system okay that's now been completed and now we need to restart our system and what I'm going to do is reboot the system into another live CD and do some more scans with that and see what else it can find on the system so let me get that ready and then we'll restart okay so we'll give Kaspersky a bash I'm going to choose English and then number one to accept the agreement. We'll go into graphic mode here. Now it's very important that you download the very latest versions of Kaspersky. This will save a lot of time on updates and stuff like that. But we're just going to give this a quick scan and see what it finds on the system. Okay. So we're going to do the C drive here and we're going to make sure we start the update first before we do any scans. That's very important. You want to make sure you've got all the latest definitions loaded. Now this can take some time. Okay, so that's now been updated. It took about a minute. We're going to go back and then we're going to run a scan with uh, this. Okay, so we're just going to quickly start to scan objects. Now this scan can take a bit of time, so we can leave it to do its thing. It's already detecting threats as you can see on the system. So we'll let this do its thing and then we'll come back when it's done. Now I find Kaspersky to have a very good uh, detection rate with its live CD. So we'll let this uh, run through here. That's detecting stuff. As you can see still but we'll let this run and then we'll go from there okay that's the scan nearly finished and uh, it's recommending to quarantine this one so we're gonna do what it asks we just need to uh, go through this now you can either put the tick in here and apply that to everything and it will deal with all that in one go Okay, that's the scans now all completed as you can see here and uh, what we're going to do here is exit out of this and then uh, we're going to restart the system okay let's boot up to the desktop now and see how we're going with the system okay we're still getting this popping up on the desktop here Okay, so we're going to run a quick scan with Malwarebytes now to see what's left on the system. Let's check it for updates and then it's going to run a quick scan. Okay, that's the scan now finished and you can see it's found some stuff on the system in the temp folder there in the local area, app data area there. You can see it's found quite a bit of stuff in the roaming folder still lurking around all this stuff fake Google as you can see quite a lot so we're going to and these are all files basically 
So I'm going to remove all these and quarantine them. It wants to me to restart, so I'm going to quickly do that. So we're still getting this popping up here. Hopefully we can deal with that a little bit later on. So we're going to do a quick scan now with Hitman Pro. See what else is left behind. We're going to quickly run a scan with this. Okay, that's the scan now complete. You can see it's found stuff inside that virus folder there on the desktop, which is where I activated those viruses. So we're going to remove those. Let that remove them from the system. Should have probably uh, put that on delete. I'm going to quickly activate a license here. Okay, that's now done. So once the reboot, so I'm going to quickly reboot again. Okay, so we're back at the desktop. You can see my icon here has gone a bit funny with Hitman Pro. Let's just get rid of that. Now we're going to try and run auto runs here. And you can see straight away we're getting some useful information. I can see some files here in the roaming area so you can also right click and jump to this entry and you will see the files are listed there so let me just try to um, see if we can delete these so I've deleted one now if you go back jump to that entry you will see there's only one there it's deleted it from that location so we're going to do that right now And we're just going to go through here and try to determine what's good and what's bad on this system. So we can see here we have something that we want to get rid of. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And I want to get rid of this one also. So I'm just going to sift through here. And you can see System32, we're going to get rid of that. BBS. And delete that as well. Okay, there we go. So we can have a bit more of a go through that a little bit later on um, and uh, we'll just shut this off and uh, we're going to give a quick run with ADW cleaner just to clean up any browser stuff run a quick scan with that also let's just give that a quick clean up now also restart so we're going to quickly restart the system so we'll see if we get those pop-ups. We haven't got those pop-ups anymore. I think that uh, auto runs did it. So here we can see we have some bits and pieces inside here that it's just removed. So it's all getting cleaned up nicely. And uh, what I want to do next is run Rogue Killer here. I'm going to give this a quick scan also. It looks like he's been doing a bit of work on the... Uh, GUI interface it looks quite nice I think it's a much nicer cleaner look so good work there Tigsy and uh, we're just going to quickly scan with this tool it's a really good tool this okay that's the scan now finished and you can see we've got some pups here the uh, anti root kit is looking okay and we want to remove that as well so I'm just going to give this a quick delete and we've got the uh, repair services for the zero access there with a pretty nice little tool 
So I've just run a quick scan here with the C cleaner. That's now cleaned up. Okay. Just quickly uh, clean up any other crap. So I'll just give uh, TDSS Killer a quick scan here just to make sure. I'm going to change this to that and run a scan. And that's good. Okay, so let's uh, repair this browser. We've got a bit of an issue with the browser, as you can see. Got this crap coming on there. So what I'm going to do here is right-click on here, no properties, and we're going to remove ZooNet from the end there. And we'll do the same thing on all of these if it's there. Try Firefox. And as you can see, it's on the end. There you go. There's that one done. So we resetted all these anyway. We just wanted to correct that. So I think we're pretty much getting there now. We need to tidy up a little bit more. But as you can see, that's basically how you can use live CDs to solve a lot of your issues with malware and viruses on your system. Now, running all these tools is important because some tools get uh, some malware and some tools find others that that one missed. So it's important to use every tool in your arsenal to remove all these nasty malicious uh, infections. Now, obviously, I would still do more work on this system uh, to get it fully back up and running to be 100% sure it's clean. And uh, But that's a way you can do it by using um, some freeware program that you can scan and remove a lot of this malware as well, okay, from the system. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. As you can see, the uh, PC is back up and running. We've got our system running as normal now. So I'm going to wrap this one up. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos, guys. If you do enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that, then head over to the forums. Don't private message me. S send them over there on the forums and post on there. And I'm pretty sure that we can get you back up and running as soon as possible. Okay, then. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks again. Bye for now.